I came to you with weakness, with great fear and trembling. God says, do it while you're scared. Because if you don't do it while you're scared, when are you going to do it? <laughs> up healing prophecy family um i am coming back with another word so um this one has been on my heart for a while and i'm one of those individuals when something comes around not once but multiple times it's a message you know that needs to be said so i'm not sure who out there um has received um, some sort of knowledge or wisdom from God about what it is that you are meant to do as your part for the kingdom. Um, it may be that you're meant to be an encourager. It may meant, be meant that you're to be a teacher or to issue prophetic words, whatever it is. There are some of you out there that have gotten this information from God. You might uh, watch other people on YouTube to try and figure out you know what is God saying to you um and so God says do it while you're scared okay so um I'm gonna read to you guys the scripture that's like the basis of this right now hold on um a little fancy over here I'm just kidding y'all but let me um figure it out okay so this is gonna be coming from first Corinthians 2 um and I'm gonna read verses 1 through 5 um and I think this is Paul, if I remember correctly. But And so it was with me, brothers and sisters, when I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with the demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom, but on God's power. So I'm going to reread the verses that really stuck out to me. So the first one where it says, as I proclaim to you the testimony about God. So I feel that there are a lot of you guys that, you know, with this calling or what God has said to you, it's something that deals with your overall testimony. It's something that allows God to get the glory and no one else in your story. You get what I'm saying? Where where you got to say, but God. It was nobody else but God. It was nobody else but God. It's something in your life that has happened recently that's allowed you to sit more with God possibly. But also, too, I feel that you know there's a testimony that you have something that will relate to other people that are within the body of christ or maybe individuals that aren't even in the body of christ just yet those that are still of the world that need to know what you what god has gotten you through but i feel what's keeping you from it is a uh, verse uh three through uh four i came to you with weakness with great fear and trembling god says do it while you're scared how many times in life um did you have an interview did you have a um a, a teaching maybe that you had to do did you have um something that requ or maybe what is it that's what i was thinking of when you stand in front of a class maybe some of you you know you were like oh my gosh like i'm so scared but you still did it um there's a need for you guys to bypass your anxiety and that's something that you can pray about i have a separate testimony about how god removed anxiety from my life and yes i still fear certain things i'm not to say that i'm without fear completely but overall when you know your true identity in god and you know who you're meant to be why would you even fear anything you get what i'm saying like why would you fear it's a scripture that says like with god before me i should fear nothing you should fear no man um of course i'm paraphrasing but y'all get the point point. and the other verse that i want to talk about it says my message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words but with the demonstration of the spirit's power so for me y'all this is a true message because god has been talking to me for a very long time <laughs> 
a very long time. I have like so many messages that God has brought to me that I feel maybe for other people. But I will look on YouTube and I'll be like, oh, well, that person is ministering this way. That person is doing this. And you know, God had to call me to fast from YouTube for a while, but also to pull myself back into a space where it's like my identity is my identity. Yes, we're all a part of the body of Christ, but we all have a different gift that has been placed on us, a different anointing that has been placed in our spirit that allows us to edify the body of Christ and to bring the glory back to Jesus, back to God, essentially, right? And so you can't look at what someone else is doing and allow that to affect how you're going to do what you're going to do. Like God knew you before you were even formed in your mother's womb. He's like, yep, I got a plan for that one. I got a plan for that one. So being that God has already known you and known who you are, it's just God's like, come on, come back to who you're meant to be. So I really just felt called to say like, you have to do it while you're scared. God says, do it while you're scared. And at the beginning of the video, I was talking about how God had brought this up to me a couple different times. God kept bringing me back to the scripture because I was going to say in this very, um, in this very passage, in this same chapter, you also see a uh, verse nine, which was something God kept bringing to me too. What no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. Okay, so that's another part of this, um, word as well I feel called to say most people talk about this in terms of the um the blessings that are coming to you you know and I feel like knowing that you have a ministry knowing you have a calling is a blessing but how God is calling me to read this right now is to say that you hold on God said and the things God has prepared so remember what I was just saying when you were in your mother's womb, God already had a plan for you. You get what I'm saying? So it's what no eye has seen, no ear has heard. It's something special. It's something particular just to you. Nobody else has seen it. So yes, it's going to look a little bit different. Yes, it's not going to look like how your other favorite YouTuber uh, prophetic people may be. At the end of the day, you just pray before and you ask God to allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. And you just go from there, honestly. Um, and I can say from my personal testimony, um, I'm an encourager. I am a person, I'm meant to give prophetic words, but more than just that, I'm a teacher as well. I have all of these gifts that God has given me analytical everything you know and I feel like these are all meant in some way to edify the body of Christ and I'm still learning how God wants me to do so but you got to do it while you're scared because if you don't do it while you're scared when are you going to do it and also too we know what God does when you don't obey him exactly so that's why you want to make sure you are being god um but yes you guys i just really wanted to come and bring this word to you guys just do it while you're scared if you can do an interview if you can stand in front of your class if you can't apply for um something a scholarship or whatever it is and know like oh my god i mean i get it but i'm still gonna do it anyways do that for the body of christ do that for god because you don't know who out there needs your testimony is somebody out there that needs needs what you have, needs what God placed inside of you, and it's time for you to step out and do it. Um, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day.